Hello, this is Kirill and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And today we'll be connecting our data source to Tableau. So I'll bring up Tableau and this is the data source that we're talking about, Office Supplies. So we downloaded it in the previous lecture. And normally throughout this course, I won't be spending a lot of time on connecting to a data source because as you'll see, it will become kind of a quick thing for us. We'll be doing it uh, pretty much on the fly. But today I thought I'd stop on it uh, specifically because we did rush through it kind of last time and I didn't have a chance to show you around uh, the connection manager interface. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, as soon as you open Tableau, here on the left you have uh, a column called connect and it's got different types of um, files that you can connect to. So last time we did an Excel file, but this time uh, if you have downloaded the CSV file, a CSV file is actually considered a text file because it's uh, basically text delimited by uh, commas. That's why it's called CSV, comma separated values. So let's click on text file and now we will select our file here, office supplies.csv and we'll open it up. And right away we're redirected to the connection manager for this data source. And let's have a look around here. So um, on the left here you've got a directory where the file's located and at the bottom here you've got only one file currently. That's because we only have one file in that directory. Later on through the course you'll notice that when we have more uh, files of the same type uh, there will be more, um, they will all be listed here and you'll be able to select from them. So here you've got a window where all the files you have selected are located. And so what does that mean? Well, that basically means that you can select many files. So um, I can show you an example now. I can drag another one of these into here and right away something happens. Tableau is trying to uh, find a way to connect these two files and basically join them. But we won't do that now. So we'll just cl click the red cross here and cancel that. We will talk about joining data further down in the course. But just bear that in mind that um, your data that you're working with in Tableau doesn't all have to come from one file. It can come from many files or it can come from many tabs in a file or it can come from um, different types of files. But once again, we will talk about that later on. Um, at the bottom here, you've got a uh, preview of your files. So uh, certain rows and columns of the files just so that you can have a look and uh, see what you're dealing with. And in our case, we do have the order date, which uh, correctly here has been identified as a date. So you can see this icon, that's a date icon. Then these are uh, have been identified as text and these have been identified as numbers. And uh, here there are some more controls which we will talk about in further sections of this course. And up top here, also an important uh, part of the connection manager, the live or extract connection. Once again, we will have a separate a lecture on that and we will understand what the difference is and when you would prefer to use an extract. For now let's just leave it at live. So everything looks good over here. Now we can um, proceed on to uh, the dashboard. So we would just have to go here and uh, we'll talk about all of this in the next section. I just wanted to show you here that we have a data column and here we've got our data source. So this little icon is uh, an icon that is used to uh, illustrate a database. If we right click on it and click view data, you will see uh, our data just as we saw in the uh, previous window. The columns can be um, rearranged here. That, um, that, is ha that happens. That's, that's totally normal. Um, but uh, this is like a preview of the data just as we had before. So that's pretty much it. That's as easy as it gets to connect to a data source. And before we finish up this lecture, I just wanted to show you one more thing. So if I want to connect to more data sources, I can always go here I can click, uh, just go back to the data source connections over here, or you can just go data, new data source and connect from here. So if you want to connect to another data source, you just click this icon over here. But what we are looking at now is the types of data sources that uh, Tableau can work with. So as we already discussed, there's Excel, there's a text file, which includes CSV files, there's access databases, uh, there's now statistical files. You are able to connect to statistical files. And as you can see here, these are SAS files, SPSS files, and even R files for uh, those of you who are interested in statistical modeling with R. Um, let's have a look what else we have. We've got Tableau server files. We've got Microsoft, Microsoft SQL server. So we will have an example of this in the course. There's MySQL databases for online use. 
there's Oracle, and there's lots of other different types of servers here. So if you are doing, for instance, um, Hadoop and uh, big data uh, analytics, then you've got P Pivotal, Green Plum databases, PostgreSQL, um, and you even have SAP HANA here. So as you can see, Tableau um, guys are constantly introducing new connection to connections to Tableau and uh, trying to keep up to date with the technical trends. So that's just, even if you don't use any of this, just a good thing to have you know, kind of uh, in mind to know that uh, Tableau is not this tool that will become obsolete one day. It's always changing and it's always adapting um, to the market and what's happening. All right, so that's it for today's lecture. We did connect very quickly. We just had a lot of um, discussions about other things. Going forward in the course, connections to data will be much faster. So there you go. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy analyzing. <laughs>